The beautiful fall colors of Simcoe County draw thousands of visitors every year. Each Thanksgiving weekend, it is also home to the Images Studio Tour, one of Ontario's finest and longest running juried art events. For the diverse group of outstanding artists on the tour, this is an important opportunity to showcase their work in their own studios and introduce themselves to a new audience. Here are just some of the artists we followed as they prepared for this unique studio tour. Jennifer Holden. Her love of color, texture, and movement are elements that make her textile art come alive. Hi, I'm Jennifer Holden and I'm a textile artist. I've been designing quilts um, for at least the last five years since returning from Australia, but um, started quilting back in 2002 when I lived in Yellowknife. This is the first time on the tour and um, I've seen the signs for it every year. I've been to a couple of the venues in the previous years and um, I've had a few people say to me, you should really try and join it. And um, I'm like, okay. So thinking, no, nah, I'm not in that caliber. But um, anyway, so then I, I applied this year and I got in. I'm hoping to achieve the awareness for people that textiles are an art. So many people look at textiles and go, well, that can't be a medium for art. And my goodness, how would you keep it clean? So, and how would you clean it? And, you know, lint rollers work really well. So I just want to make people aware that textiles is an emerging art and it's um, a great way to make landscape quilts and um, other quilts, whether they're wall hangings or bed quilts. What motivated me to follow quilting? Well, my mom was a seamstress, but I was never going to sew anything in my life. <laughs> and um, I took home ec in grade nine and did that obligatory outfit that you had to do and um, never wore it. And um, my mom did give me a small sewing machine when I left home and I never touched it. And then when I was living in Yellowknife, um, a quilt shop opened up and I thought, well, I could learn how to quilt. I need something to do. Well, my little machine I had didn't have a quarter inch foot, so I went home and said, I need a new machine. So anyway, so I bought the machine and um, never looked back. I've been quilting ever since. I'm looking to sell my art quilts. My expectation is to move the art quilts off the wall and maybe some bed quilts or table runners as well. But I really am want to focus on the art quilts because that's really where I see myself going in the next um, the rest of my career as a textile artist, the art quilts are what um, inspire me. Just like a painting, you can put a textile on your wall and have a piece of art. So I'm really going to be pushing my art quilts. I've been making a series called Tissue Box Art, and they're all based on Kleenex boxes. This one, the background was inspired by this gradated um, Kleenex box. The flowers, or what I call dandelion puffs, are um, inspired by this tissue box. This is another. Kleenex box one, and it looks best at an angle. So this for the colors, and this for the um, diagonals. And I actually call this one um, race car flag. Then this one was um, inspired by this one, so the waves, and the little amoebas, and the color. Originally, I was trying to make this one into Northern Lights when I had, because um, I liked the colors, because I thought, well, those would work. And then I was laying it out on the design wall at the cottage, and it just wasn't, it just wasn't working. And I finally said, it's the Caribbean. So here's the one that goes with the Northern Lights. To me, this was an Anuk Shook. So what happens is you have your backing, and um, this is a bit wild backing, but I liked it. And then you have what's called batting. And this is 100% cotton. And then here is my background of my piece. And this one is actually silk. Um, so you then layer them together. The backing and the batting are usually larger. So that when um, you do quilt the piece, if anything shifts, 
you don't lose your backing or batting and then it all gets trimmed off at the end and um, you pin it together and then you're gonna what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a whole bunch of stitching along the top here and get some northern lights and then add my couching to make more northern lights pretty northern lights and these are pieces of upholstery fabric which I cut up nice and tiny and um, this is my snow and this will be the Anukshuk. This is what's called free motion quilting. You use gloves so that you can move your fabric around easier. Um, the feed dogs on the machine go down into the machine so that they don't move the fabric because regularly when you sew the fabric um, gets moved along by the feed dogs but because I want to be able to say where the needle goes we put the feed dogs down and then I can determine where everything goes so My Tissue Box art series will be on display and for sale next week at the Images Tour. Sales would be really good. Since this is my method of making a living, um, I would like to make a few sales and um, just make people aware that I'm out there. Being a rookie for the Images Tour this year is um, a bit um, daunting and a bit overwhelming. The number of people coming through, no idea. Um, I'm expecting at least 200 people a day. Um, I'm hoping for 200 or more, that would be great. And um, we'll just have to wait and see, but I really have no idea what to expect. that has a hole in it that you thread it through and then it just you decide where it goes so how it works yeah I like that so, and um, then this will get cut up into pieces and I'll place them on here for my nook and um, sew them down the one upstairs is just um, fabrics <laughs> hi there So you, you start with fusible and then she just lays it and works with it until she gets the way she wants the shape and so the colors and then she just starts oh, stitching. Just her second oh. yeah. yeah, I like this stuff uh, more than the regular yes. just quilting. And then so uh, couching. I thought it was Beautiful. pretty cool. Yeah. It yeah. was really neat. Lots of great colors, lots of great shapes. It's not just your normal quilting. quilting yeah. yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. And the one she's working on right now yeah. with the nookshuk and that's going to be nice too. So. It went very well. Met my expectations. We've had, I don't know how many through today, but 185 yesterday, and um, I've had some really good sales, and I'm sure I'll be on the tour again next year.